Marcus Conti reporting Hillary Clinton has returned. The red baiter, the the master baiter. What a disgusting human being. Red baiting Bernie Sanders on the Howard Stern show. Time to throw Howard Stern under the bus. He used to be my hero. No more. Check this shit out. So, so Hillary Clinton is on the Howard Stern show. I'm going to play the clip. I couldn't find the actual video clip of her saying it, but I got the audio. So how, she's on Howard Stern, Howard Stern, the good, you know, we all know, know and love Howard Stern, especially if you're from New York. Howard Stern is the shock, doc, uh, shock jock king, personal friends of Donald Trump, right? Has, has been, a, you know, an icon, changed, changed radio in, in, uh, in America, certainly uh, for the better, made it uh, edgy, made it real, made it... Um, uh, made it worth listening to again, and and now he's on he's on uh, he brings Hillary Clinton on the show, and they red bait Bernie to to no degree, and the worst part of it is that they let Howard lets it happen, so that's <laughs> that's Hillary Clinton live. Here's the uh, here's the audio. So let's listen to it, and uh, and I'll comment. After, you know. Do you just ever want to just lay in bed and say, fuck this, I'm getting out. I mean, I am going to go into full seclusion no. and they're never going to hear from me again. No. First of all, um, that would only delight my adversaries. Um, so <laughs> I would never do that. But secondly, I have this unique perspective, some of which we've been talking you about do. today. I have a unique perspective. I have a particular understanding of the Russian threat. A particular understanding of the Russian Russia threat. Listen to fucking Howard Stern. What a sellout. What a cock smoking sellout you are, Howard. You how dare you? How dare you let fucking Hillary Clinton come on your show and talk her bullshit Russia shit without any pushback at all? This isn't even softball. This is like this is like fluff. This is fluff. God damn it. And it's not gonna only be Russia. I mean so you must be laying awake at I night. I do. I worry a lot. Because you know how, what I, the shenanigans yes, are. Yes, I worry, I worry a lot. You've neg- she knows what the shenanigans are. She is the shenanigans. Howard, you fucking moron. She is the shenanigans. Negotiated with mm-hmm. them. You've seen secret intelligence. I have. And you know that, you know, there's these guys who phone from Nigeria who phone your home and somehow finagle six grand out of you by doing that. Yeah. And you're brilliant at yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I can only imagine what's going on when Vladimir Putin sits there and plans against the United States. Well, but you- Unbelievable, man. Uh, Howard Stern, what is wrong with you, man? Howard Stern, you're hurting the country. Get off the, get off the air, you jerk off. You no, know, you can read the, the indictments against the Russians. And I, you know, a lot of people didn't pay attention to it, but it's very uh, informative and scary. Do you mean? The- oh, really? The indictments. Uh, I ha- As a matter of fact, I have the indictments. I actually did read the indictments. Russian interference in 2016 U.S. elections. We'll talk about it. Here's the indictments. It's fake. It's a fake indictment. None of these 13 Russians indicted by Mueller were ever brought to, to justice. It's just a bullshit. One of them actually showed up and said, what did I do? And they said, oh, we don't want to talk to you right now. It's bullshit. It was generated through CrowdStrike, right? CrowdStrike... The, the people that wiped the servers, wiped the DNC servers, and then told the FBI, yeah, Russia did it. Right? It's a fucking farce. And here's Hillary Clinton, who wants to be or wanted to be the president of the United States, sitting on the couch, lying her ass off. And it gets worse. Watch. Let's listen again. Read the, the indictments against the Russians. And, I, you know, a lot of people didn't pay attention to it, but it's very uh, informative and scary. Do you mean the Mueller report? Yeah, the yeah. indictments. Okay. The, the report itself, I think, is also worth reading. But if you read the indictments, you know, basically they were like, hey, let's do everything we can to elect Donald Trump. I mean, that's, those, those are quotes. Those are taken, words they Those said. are words yeah. that taken, and also said Bernie Sanders, but, you know, that's another for another day. Do we day. hate Bernie Sanders? What? What? She just said Bernie Sanders is is named in the indictment. They wanted to help Bernie Sanders. What the hell are you talking about? There's not a fucking peep about any of no Bernie Sanders. Look, this is this indictment is is the fiction that happened when Hillary Clinton got caught cheating in the Democratic primary. Well, Debbie Wasserman Schultz. And, and uh, you know, Robbie Mook and John Podesta, they were cheating. They bought the DNC. The DNC rolled over and they fucking cheated Bernie Sanders and got caught. And then blame, WikiLeaks busted them through a leak. And then, and then they blamed Russia. And then they tried to say Russia, 
uh, uh, that, that Trump put them up to it. The whole fucking story is fake. See, I, I had said a long time ago that unless you, unless you address this problem, that they will continue to lean on it. And here is your evidence. Three years later, Hillary Clinton is saying that these indictments have, have any value whatsoever. She's saying that they are so important and so uh, uh, damning to not only Trump, but Bernie fucking Sanders. God damn it, Howard, you moron. How could you let her do that? How could you let her come on your show? You should shred this fucking bitch. Elect Donald Trump. I mean, that's, those, those are quotes. Those are taken, words they Those said. are words. Yeah. You know, basically, they were like, hey, let's do everything we can to elect Donald Trump. I mean, that's, those, those are quotes. Those are taken, words they Those said. are words yeah. that taken, and they also said Bernie Sanders, but, you know... That's another for another day. Do we day. hate Bernie Sanders? What? Do we hate Bernie Sanders? No, I don't hate anybody. Bernie could have endorsed you quicker. Uh, he could have. You he hurt. So she says that she doesn't hate anybody. She doesn't hate Bernie Sanders. But Bernie, you're calling Bernie Sanders a fucking traitor, a Russian asset, and you don't hate him? I would hate him. If, if, if someone is a traitor to our country, a, a traitor, someone who is, is working with a foreign, a foreign entity to overthrow our government... And you don't hate the person. You don't have any any animosity whatsoever to somebody that overthrew the country. Are you fucking crazy? God damn. Hurt me. There's no doubt about it. Hurt me. But going back to the indictments, because that's right. what's really important. Have you ever spoken to Bernie about that? No. No. She keeps she keeps bringing the conversation back to these stupid indictments that have nothing have nothing to do with anything. Right? They're they're just they're fake. That was Mueller working with CrowdStrike. They never challenged it. They never investigated it. They never saw the servers. They took what CrowdStrike, who was paid for by Hillary Clinton and the DNC, all foreign money, Saudi money, whoever gave money to the DNC, whoever pumped money into Hillary Clinton's campaign, paid for that dossier, the Russian indictments. Nobody sitting in jail. Fake. No. You don't I mean, talk to him. I don't talk to him. Yeah, I mean, we did when he finally endorsed me and all that. But Anything. you're upset with him. No, I'm disappointed. Disappointed. Okay. okay. So, and, and I hope he doesn't do it again to whoever gets the nomination. Right. Once is I hope he doesn't do it again. I hope he doesn't diss me again for whoever gets the nomination. She's talking about Bernie Sanders as if she's dismissing Bernie Sanders as a possible candidate for the president of the United States. What a fucking cunt. No, I'm disappointed. Disappointed. Okay. okay. So, and, and I hope he doesn't do it again to whoever gets the nomination. Right. Once is enough. We yeah. got. It. We have and to. Howard's like, right? Yeah. Oh, right. Right. Oh, sure. Yeah. Right. Right. Oh, I'm edgy. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh of course, Hillary. Clinton. Let me suck your pussy right on the stage. Oh, fuck you. Oh, bl- oh, I love you, Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. I. Oh, she rocks. I love Hillary. You fucking jerk. I fucking hate you, Howard Stern. Yeah, Everyone things unite. are very we have to right join now. forces, yeah. and you know, people could speculate and and have some good reason to speculate about how bad. It might be with uh, Trump in the White House. Now we know. There's no guesswork. We know. Right. And, and we know that given his personality and his, his, his rage um, against anyone who questions him, Lord knows what he might try to do. So it's time to retire him. Oh, my God. God damn, it makes you sick listening to this shit right? in our country. He's a fucking traitor. She's a traitor. She is a traitor. She really should be swinging from the rafters. All the corruption... The Benghazi, the, the fucking deleting emails, lying to Congress, quid pro quo, taking $2 billion in foreign aid, foreign money, Haiti. There's so many corrupt scams this woman has been. The, the Clinton Foundation, totally fraudulent, bullshit, uh, uh, money laundering operation. Right? And she's got the balls to say Bernie fucking Sanders, the most liked politician in the country. Is, is is guilty of being a Russian traitor. What a fucking cunt. Uh, she said it about uh, Tulsi Gabbard the other day too, right? So so again, fake indictments, right? She's she's leaning, she's she's signaling to the dirty Democrats that let's lean on this because this is effective, right? We paid for this. This also, this indictment also vindicates uh, to some degree Hillary Clinton. That's why they pay for it, because Whenever, whenever people say Hillary Clinton was a traitor to our country, that she cheated in the primaries, they'll always say Russia did it. No, no, no. See the, see the scapegoat? The big move covers the little move. The little move is that they cheated. The big move is that Russia did it. 
Uh, so here you go. We're going into 2020. Russiagate lives. They're, they lean on a false, a false document, a document that has no, no credibility, no, no basis in fact or law or actual, you know, actual people that were tried in a court of law. There's no computer evidence. Bill Benny and, the, and, and his crowd found that the computer, that the information delivered to WikiLeaks could not possibly have been a, a, uh, a hack from outside. That's, it's, it's, it's impossible. It's technically impossible that it was stolen from the inside, right? So, whoa, Marcus Conti reporting, man. No, oh, that's a way to get your blood boiling. A little Hillary Clinton in the morning. Sorry for having to make you watch that, but... Uh, so Hillary Clinton's out there red baiting. So and now, now the big question is: Will Bernie Sanders push back? Will Bernie Sanders take his hand, put it in his pants, take his balls in his hand, get his balls, Bernie, get your balls in your hand, and push back? Tulsi Gabbard did it. Tulsi Gabbard called Hillary Clinton a bitch, a cunt, a, a motherfucker, called her everything, pushing back when Hillary Clinton tried to t- say Tulsi Gabbard and Jill Stein are Russian assets. And here she goes again, Russia, 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 right? Fuck what the, what the mainstream media says. What is Bernie Sanders going to say? Are you going to still support this cunt? She's throwing you under the bus, Bernie. She threw you under the bus. She said you'll not. She's basically saying he's not going to be the nominee. Again, she's saying it and that he needs to support the nominee. Right? Marcus Conti reporting. <laughs> 